my bed top turn into a pep rally. Hey, Holly Berry, Hallelujah, holla back, I'll do ya. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Colo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. I have missed you guys so much, but today we are back with a banger. I'm going to be showing you how to get this really simple, very effortless, beautiful hairstyle in under one hour. If you would like to see how this is done, then keep on watching. For this hairstyle, I'm going to be starting on stretched hair. Now typically, I would start with blow dried hair to do this hairstyle because we are using clip-ins. However, my hair is due for a wash and I just wanted to show you guys this hairstyle before I do that. I've seen a lot of people do this half up, half down style, but they end up flat ironing their hair and I just didn't want to do that at all. Simply, you just need to blow dry this hair. Whenever I do this, I blow dry my hair. So I'm part Parting my hair from ear to ear, from the tips of my ear to the tip of my ear, and I'm simply doing this in order to just take away the front portion and just keep that aside for when we are going to start the actual style. Now, within this style, you're going to use a total of 16 clips. You're going to use four singles, you're going to use six doubles, and th um, four triples and two quadruple clips. In each pack, when you purchase this hair from Slow Rosa Hair, you're going to get eight pieces. It's a standard um, clip. You know, it comes with uh, the, the clip that you push forward in order to open and snap back in order to close. The most important portion in order to get this hairstyle done is the track placement. You want to make sure that you're following the circumference of your head from smallest to largest to smaller again. So at the back, you know, your circumference of your head is smaller. So I'm starting with only a double clip. I want you to notice on the right hand side how there's that tugging on my hair. So that has to be corrected. You don't want this to snag your hair. You have to continue to reposition the, the tracks or the clips, uh, excuse me, to make sure that they're not snagging on your hair. In the next track, I'm gonna go in with a triple this time. So I unclip them and then I put them in place. I snap them closed and um, you can see that it follows the circumference on my head. Now, going in again with the next track, I am parting my hair and then I'm adding in two doubles. So we had two clips at the bottom, three in the next, and in this one we're going to have a total of four clips because we're using two doubles. As you can see, the number of clips I'm using is increasing because the circumference of my head at each position is also increasing. You're going to see now in the next um, placement, I want you to pay attention to the number of clips I'm going to place in total. So I part my hair. This time I'm going in with a, a quadruple, so a four clip unit. I'm placing that in, into my hair. And I want you to notice on either side of my hair, I still have some of my natural hair peeking through. And that is because this is now the widest portion of my head. So that means I need to go in with an extra clip on either side of my hair, making for a total of six clips in this row. This is the largest portion of my hair. In the next row, I'm going to go in and I'm also going to place another quadruple. But because now we've passed the largest portion, my hair is my uh, the circumference of my head is now smaller again. So I'm only just going to place four units and a uh, four unit, a uh, four clip unit, and it covers from um, end to end. In the next placement, you're going to see we're switching to the front, and I'm going to now just twist my hair out of the way just so you guys can see better how much um, hair is actually going to be left um, out in order to put up in the ponytail and I'm just going to continue with the same method we were doing before I'm now going to place another three 
another three unit clip it really is like a continuing cycle it's just doing the reverse now from what we were doing at the bottom and now I've placed the unit clips and then you can see there's still some hair left so I place in the last of the double clips on either of the single clips excuse me on either side and I'm checking to make sure that there is no snagging on any strands of hair now this is the most important part because this is the part that is going to go up into the ponytail I'm gonna take a three unit clip but instead of placing it backwards I am now pace placing the tracks going forward it's really important that you do this in order to make sure that when you now put the hair in a ponytail, it's not tugging on your hair from behind and snagging it forward. So that's why you just want to have it going forward to begin with. I'm going to continue and do the same thing. Take another three track, track un, um, unit set and just place that onto my hair, clipping them in place. Now, this next portion, unfortunately, was not recorded well, so you're going to see that my hair is now going to be in a ponytail, but it's really simple. I'm just going to explain exactly what you do. You continue the track placement until you have one piece of hair left that you're going to use to cover the back placements and simply you just undo the twist that you did the flat twist and you just put it into a ponytail with the tracks you had falling forward and that's that just a nice loose ponytail you can see that it's not so precise you don't want to tug on your hair at all with this uh, now it's time for us to curl the hair so I'm simply just twisting that out of the way I'm going to be going in with my Con Air um, curling wand at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And I simply take, um, as you see, I'm doing large sections, just um, spray in some heat protectant spray, and I'm using the Cream of Nature heat protectant spray. I'm putting it around the curling wand. The main focus is to get the ends of the clip in. I want the clip ends themselves curled and just the tip of my hair to blend with the clip in this is not a style where I'm really trying to get like defined super defined curls because I just want like really nice waves where everything blends in nicely as you can see I still have texture at my root in total I'm going to do this six times on each side of my head so for the bottom portion that's hanging down I'm gonna have a total of 12 curled strands and they're huge sections you can see like I'm not being so so precise with um, how you know intact everything is I just want to make sure it's just smooth blended in but you can see I still have natural texture I that's the I really want to emphasize that when I've seen other people do this style I know they're they want it like bone straight or they you know they flat iron their hair before they go in and do all this but I just don't think that's necessary now for the top portion of my head I did the exact same thing six on each side but you can see here that the sections are a lot smaller but just remember you want these more defined because they are going to cover the back pieces so just make sure that the sections are you know smoother they are well defined and you can see like I'm not leaving I'm not even leaving the curling wand in for so long any steam you see is coming from the actual um, serum and not from um, burning my hair I'm not frying my hair up today <laughs> and so this is what it looks like once you are done curling all the pieces so you can go ahead and um, you know go do your makeup or whatever else it is you have to do and when you come back this is where you now fluff the fluffing is the most important step in order to get the volume that you see and you're just gonna keep fluffing until you are happy with how everything looks and you can go ahead and use the curling wand to smooth out your edges I wasn't actually doing this I'm just this is for demonstrative purposes um, if this was an actual style I was gonna keep for very long yeah I would go in and do that 
that but I don't like edge control and stuff so that's why I do this and this is what it looks like at the back as you can see there are no tracks showing because of proper track placement and that's really important in order to make sure everything does blend in seamlessly so yeah that's pretty much the look in its entirety I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it it really doesn't take long to do it all and um yeah that's that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you so very much for your constant support i really really do appreciate it do not forget to like the video and also to subscribe i hope to see you in another video very soon until then stay blessed and stay golden girl i know you want that dick